Good morning. Day eight of the Oregon Coast Trail. We are leaving camp kind of early today. It's eight o'clock, which is uh, surprising for us. Normally we take quite a while to get out of camp, but there's an aquarium um, in Newport, which is about eight miles away. And we are all very excited to go check it out. So yeah, we are headed back to the beach from the Beverly, Beverly Beach campground and ready to see what today has in store. Every day has something new and exciting and I feel today will be no different. River crossing. What kind of cocktail is that? Uh, it's a, a fine brain stew. <laughs> <laughs> just leaving the Oregon Coast Aquarium. We got to see all kinds of really fun wildlife. Now we're headed back on trail and figuring out where we're gonna stay for the night. It's still pretty early, but everyone kind of seems tired today. So we'll see how far we get. All right, Corey, summarize. Me too. <laughs> Tell everyone what we did when we got here in got two sentences. The RV? Well, yeah. I wanted to smack an old man in the mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, why? Just kidding. I don't want to hurt him. Just use bad words against him for ruining our uh, tent spot finding experience. But we found one. Yeah, we just picked a spot and took it. Okay, and then what did we do after that? What did we do after that? Oh, we went in the hot tub. Cool, then what? We smelled like the most pungent chlorine I've ever smelled in my life. And what did we have for dinner? We ordered Domino's and this annoying ass kid wouldn't stop talking. And <laughs> I tried to run him off nicely and it didn't work. 
Uh, probably telling him that he was going to get eaten by a shark tomorrow when he goes in the ocean. That or like a giant squid. I tried to warn him like there are giant squids and he told me there weren't. I said you can Google that shit. It didn't work. Okay, so good night. Say good night. Good night. Tell the YouTube verse what we're doing. Pivot. Um, <laughs> we're pivoting. Pivot. It's we another are... one. It's another, another one. one. <laughs> we're vacationing, but we've decided to vacation even harder than we've ever vacationed before. So for those of you who have no idea what Cal's talking about, <laughs> uh, we were As gonna. Less hiking. Yeah, we were gonna through hike this trail, but then, <laughs> then Corey got this other job. So he's not coming back to the PCT. And now I'm sad, so we're going back to the PCT so we can finish it as soon as possible. And still have time to do fun stuff too, because we could have finished it before, yeah. but it would have been like... Miserable. We would have had to rush, and this way we can... Should I get some beer chopped off today? Yeah. I'm just yeah. a product of all of your decisions. Let's find a barber. I can get my haircut. There was one in Florida. I'm just gonna shave my head, you know? Life that makes no sense. I would like to shave my beard. I'm gonna cut it out. So currently we're in Florence, Oregon. We made the decision yesterday to end our trip of the Oregon Coast Trail a little early, and I'll give you some reasons why. Um, we were having a lot of fun, but some things have changed, and so it's kind of re made me reevaluate um, the importance of you know the things that are going to be coming up in the next couple of days. As we all know, Corey is leaving in a few weeks to, he has a contract, and obligation for work, so he'll be leaving. But on top of that, he got a secondary contract, so now his Pacific Crest Trail through hike will be finished. He'll be done when he leaves um, at the end of July. So for me, that has changed a lot of things. One, uh, trying to figure out if I too want to go home and come back and finish this trail with Corey at another time. As we have maintained this team, um, he and I have been together through every step of the way, every mile, every second we have been together. So continuing on on the Pacific Crest Trail doesn't seem right without him. However, we have had many discussions and he believes that the best thing is for me is to continue on with the trail. So um, we were about 160 miles into the Oregon Coast Trail and we all just kind of decided that yes, we want the snow to melt, However, the longer we spend on the Oregon Coast Trail, the longer it's gonna take for me to finish the PCT and get home to Cory. So I know it kind of sounds juvenile and like codependent. Um, however, we have been through this journey together, you know, every step of the way. So um, for me, the most important thing is now trying to get finished with the PCT as quickly as possible so I can get home and be with Corey. Um, it's kind of changed just my perspective on a lot of things. So hopefully this will give me the motivation to push as you know, as I need to, to finish this trail. I've been really, really struggling. Like physically, my body just feels really, really tired. Even taking the break out here on the OCT, um, I've still been battling my bladder issues. So I've been um, taking a plethora of medications every day or supplements or different over-the-counter um, things and some prescriptions that I've had. And so just taking those medications and taking it day by day, pretty much, um, so I've been just very fatigued, very tired, and hoping that I can find the motivation to get through this last section of trail. We have a lot of miles left, which is very daunting. So we'll see what we do. But today we are making our journey back from Florence, Oregon to Eugene and then to Oak Ridge, where we'll be getting back on at Shelter Cove. Anyway, y'all, um, we're going to get back to trail today and hopefully we'll be back on the PCT before dusk. <laughs> 